This is a smart plug. This is a smart plug. This is a smart bulb. This is a smart switch. All these have a few things in common. They all work with Alexa and Google Assistant, but not with Apple HomeKit, which means out of the box, it doesn't work with Siri on my iPhone. I have to go into another app to control these smart devices. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can control all these smart devices with Siri. Let's get into it. This is Everyday Tech, a show about everyday tech for everyday people. Home automation and smart devices have become really affordable over the past few years. I did a video not too long ago on an affordable way to get into home automation. Check out that video by clicking in the box here. Or is it here? Anyway, it'll be in the description below. The thing that I always have with me is my phone. So one thing that I missed that I had on my Google Pixel 3 is I could just squeeze the phone and the Google Assistant would pop up. Now that, I, now that I've switched back to an iPhone, none of my smart plugs or switches are directly compatible with HomeKit or Siri. I want to be able to have Siri control all my smart devices. The solution I'm about to show you requires smart devices that are compatible with Google Assistant. Now, even if you have only Amazon Alexa devices around the house, most likely those smart devices you have connected with them also work with Google Assistant. The only product I've seen that works with Amazon Alexa, but not Google Home, is Amazon's own branded smart plugs. Actually, this solution works even if you don't have any digital assistant devices, such as the Amazon Echo or a Google Home Mini. Your smart plug or switch just needs to be compatible with Google Assistant, and that's it. Now I'm gonna assume that you've already connected your smart plug or switch with your Google Home account. If you've never hooked up a smart device to Alexa or Google Home, this can get confusing because every smart device has its own app. And then that app talks to either Alexa or the Google Home app. One of the apps you'll need to download is the Google Assistant app, which happens to be a separate app than the Google Home app. Confusing, right? The Google Assistant app has the hooks and API calls available to get this done. This is possible through Apple's Shortcut app. Obviously, you need to download that app on your phone. And as I said previously, you need to have the Google Assistant app on your phone as well. So here's what you do. Again, I'm assuming you already have your device set up with your Google Home account. And you have to have the Google Assistant app on your phone as well. Okay, I'm in my shortcuts app on my iPhone. And so the thing about this solution is you actually have to have two commands per plug at least. One is for turning on and one is for turning off. With the built-in um, you know, smart assistants, they already have those built in, right? On and off. Uh, but with, short, with this solution, shortcuts, you have to actually tell it to turn on and have a separate command to turn off. So in this example, I'm gonna show you how we can turn off my video lights here and, and turn it back on. So I'm gonna to have to create two shortcuts here. So I'm gonna go into shortcuts, the plus on the right, top right, add action, click on apps, and then there's the assistant app. There's no Google Home app shortcut. There's an assistance app, third one right there. And of course this shows me the past uh, commands that I've done. So I can select actually turn on video light here or turn off video light, but I'm actually going to start it from scratch and say, ask Google, which is the first one. And under the question, you can explicitly say this turn. I'm going to do the off one first, turn off video light, hit next. This is a shortcut name, but at the same time, it's also the command that you're giving Siri. So I'm gonna say turn off video light, which means I can call this something else. So I can have a different, uh, I can evoke a different command to Siri to evoke a different command on Google Home. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, maybe I'll do an example 
here. Okay, so I have a turn off video light, but I'm gonna create another one to turn it back on. So I'm at new shortcuts, and then I'm gonna say add action, app, assistant, ask Google questions, and then say turn on video light. Done, next. And then it's the same thing here, turn on video light. You know what, I'm gonna say turn on production. That way you can see I'm executing a Google voice command, but I'm using Siri with a different prompt. So instead of saying turn on video light, I'm gonna say turn on production. But what that is, is sending a command to Google Assistant saying turn on video light. So I hope that makes sense. So let me give this a try. Hey Siri, turn off video light. Do you see what it did there? It actually opened up the Google Assistant app and then invoked the command. So let me try that by pressing my power button on the right here Turn on production. And there it turned on. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. In a future video, I'm gonna talk about how we can use what we've talked about here and take home automation to another level using NFC tags. For example, if you wanna get my setup ready for a video call, I just tap this NFC sticker And bam. Until next time, see ya.